my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, I want to talk to you about my latest purchase or handbag purchase from Louis Vuitton, the capucins in the BB size. I have had a chance to use this handbag, so I thought of doing a video about it, showing you some mud shots and what fits inside. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and start. I purchased this handbag many weeks ago through my CA or customer advisor because at the time they have ceased operations and I can't come to the store to personally see or buy it. So I requested her to deliver it to my house. So that's how I acquired the bag and watch my unboxing video. Please watch. So, in short, I trusted my CA to carefully inspect the bag for me prior to delivery for possible issues like indentation on the leather, glazings, and scratches on the metal hardware. So, she did this for me perfectly. The BB size has been on my radar for a long time, but I couldn't seem to pull the trigger because of some reasons. Number one, the price point is very expensive, which is a con for this bag. <laughs> I have been talking a lot about the bag, but I haven't shown it to you yet. So this is the bag. And uh, anyway, the issue I have had with my first capucins which is in the pm size made me worried about buying this uh, size or the bb size i have heard a lot from others that louis vuitton has improved the made and quality features of their capucins in addition the bb size is not as heavy as the pm so the tendency to acquire indentation on the uh, bottom corners will unlikely to happen. So my CA confirmed that to me as well. I just couldn't take my eyes off this timelessly elegant and charming bag. It is now in the classic and in the permanent line. It was first launched in 2013. The Capucins is named for the Parisian street where Louis Vuitton opened his first shop in 1854. So the Capucins handbags come in different sizes. They have the Mini, BB, PM, MM, and GM. But the GM, I believe it has been discontinued because it's way too heavy. So mine is in the size BB. And if you want me to do a comparison video between my uh, PM size and this BB size, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as to the colors, they all come in so many different colors like Scarlet Red, Snow White, Marine Rouge, Freesia, Black, Magnolia, Galley, so on and so forth. This one is in the color Galley. And this is a nude cold beige with a grayish tone to it. Very nice. I just love this because it fits any outfit. It really goes well with anything and everything. So the Capucins handbags come in different embellishments as well, depending on the season. The most popular one is the Handle Crafted from Python Skin, which I had an eye on, but eventually I changed my mind because of possible scale raising issues over time. And let me show you my Python... Uh, Rocha. This is a tote from tote bag from Prada. This is a very expensive handbag. I bought it uh, 2014 when I was in New York. And let me show you up close my fear with the Python handle uh, capucins. So over here, there are scales which have already raised. I'm not sure if I'm going to apply some uh, leather conditioner uh, specifically made for Python skin. 
let me know if you have any uh, suggestion or if you have an experience uh, related to python skins so there and in here as well so um, so that's how i ended up picking this plain capucins bb should i get bored and i want to add color to it i can easily wrap it with a bandeau or twilly and by doing that i can also protect the handle from dirt and stains so should i recommend this bag yes absolutely i recommend this bag because because it's very classic and classy it's in their permanent line and it will never go out of style however with the price well i would suggest that you go look for it in the pre-love market the price doesn't hold its uh, value but if you want to feel experience the luxury of buying the bag in a retail store then go for it so now let's go to the detailed features of this handbag before i start i would like to apologize for the noise you hear in the background because of the fan in front of me it's hot the air condition is not sufficient and i can't do anything about it so this bag which is the capucines is made in cerulean leather which is a grain pebbled leather is it is actually the same leather hermes uses in their bags so i i am not surprised that the price of this is expensive and the size of this handbag is 27 cm in length 18 cm in height and 9 cm in width so it has gold hardware on the logo here on the jewel like uh, mounts and on the uh, flower detail or logo here as well as in the strap uh, gold metal hardware it has a leather wrapped lv initials as you can see and this jewel uh, like handle mounts inspired by historic trunks so pretty so it has a top handle for hand or elbow carry it has a distinctive flap with a monogram flower motif and double carry style tuck in or out it has a detachable and adjustable strap with a minimum of 52 cm and maximum of 59 cm for shoulder or cross body carry so you can adjust the length depending on your height or preference because it has one, two, three, four holes. So on the inside, it has a smooth cowhide leather lining. The color is chocolate brown. So I don't know if you can actually see what's uh, inside this bag, but it has two compartments here in front and in the back there's also a zip pocket here and a snap hook which is added to secure belongings you just have to hook it in the d-ring here but i don't do that and of course there are four studs or feet 
to protect the bottom of the bag and I like that now I've shown you some mod shots in the beginning of the video and it's time for me to show you what's inside this bag I just removed it for the purpose of this uh, review but before that I would like to show you the bag up close there are no wear and tear yet because I've only used this twice and the uh, future video will be uploaded for further review in time now I'm going to put my mini pochette here at the back my six key ring holder in front my Dior saddle wallet my YSL card holder and a wipes mini wipes so you can see that it, it still has a space and you can also I can also put my clay here if I like to bring my clay with me and my glasses so they sit comfortably inside and as you can see this bag holds a lot of our daily essentials now like i said earlier if i get bored with just the uh, single color and i want to add a color to this bag i can also wrap this and um, accessorize it with this louis vuitton a bundle here wrap it around like so and there you go and so that wraps up our video for today thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you have questions or suggestions regarding the video Feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!